So welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs and today I'm doing the final video in the series of top five players in the league in each position. Um, to be honest, I found the strikers the most difficult in terms of, I think, it's the weakest position in the, in the league, essentially. I don't think we have the top, many of the top strikers that we used to have, but let's get straight into the video. Number five, I've gone for Georgie Kelly of Dundalk. The Donegal man is now 23 years of age. He's a, very, he's a good target man. He's very, very good in the air. Hold the ball up. Made 27 appearances last season for Dundalk, scoring eight goals. And that's quite good because um, he rarely completed 90 minutes in a match. He often was a substitute and came on for Huben. Um, a bit of an alternative to Huben, um, which is good for Dundalk. And he's a striker, in my opinion, that you'd probably hear a lot more of if he was playing first team football week in, week out. He'd, I think he'd walk into every other team in the league. Um, and he's a bit of a dying breed in terms of his target man qualities. Uh, very, very good in the air um, and can score from crosses. Um, I know a few clubs were interested in him and bring him in to their club. Uh during the pre-season, but he elected to stay at Dundalk for another season anyway. Um, it'll be interesting to see, obviously, Huben is there still. If there's plans to bring him in, let's say, more full-time on a first-team basis next season. If not, I can see him leaving the club. But um, I do think he's a very good striker, one to keep an eye on, be it at Dundalk or be it at another club. So Georgie Kelly for me is deservedly in at number five on this list. Now number four at the list have gone for Ronan Coughlin of Sligo Rovers. Ronan was a Cork boy before but he seemed to have settled at, at Sligo and found you know a home for himself essentially. He's only 24 years of age so there is potential for, for him to improve. Four appearances this season, one goal, eight of goals and 27 league appearances last season he may have got 12 or 13 in all competitions um but Ronan is one of these strikers that doesn't necessarily have to score to play well or put in a shift um he's often playing alone furrow up front for Sligo I think he could do with a bit more support he obviously missed Ro uh, Romeo Parks Romeo Parks was with him last season. They often played in the two. Sometimes Coughlin would be wide, etc. Parks would be wide other times. But um, you can be a bit isolated up front for Sligo, but he puts in a serious shift. He'll chase down every ball, uh, works the channels, tries to hold it up, tries to come deep and link up with others. Um, and at the same time, get goals. I'd like to see him score more goals, but I think he works so hard that sometimes I think it's at to the detriment of his overall play because he a lot of the time he'll chase lost causes and whereas that's commendable I think sometimes a bit of game management could even improve him as a player but um, that said he's still in the top five in my list and he's a player I like um, Saiga so don't score many goals from the midfield zones as well so you know what I mean there's a lot of pressure on him maybe to get the goals as well but um you know, a very hard worker. I like the way he, he plays for the team. He's a real team player. And I think it's fair to have Ronan Coughlin in, on this list. Number four for Ronan Coughlin. Now, number three, I've gone for Aaron Green of Shamrock Rovers. 11 goals last season, 34 appearances for the Hoops. Aaron is a player that's been around for a while. He's now 30 years of age, but he's been around for a long time. He was obviously a young player with a lot of potential and... Struggled to find that in his game, I think. He had two spells at Sligo Rovers. He had another spell at St. Pat uh, Sh Shamrock Rovers. He had a spell at Pats, Limerick and Galway, where he started off his League of Ireland career. But um, he did do well at Sligo Rovers, to be fair. Um, but I do think he's, in the last couple of years, he's really starting to find his feet and... Fill, fulfill his potential essentially at 30 years of age um, 
some people think he's overrated. Some people think he's underrated, which is always curious. So, you know, he's probably somewhere in between. I just think he's a good player. He's a good striker. He's in a very good team, to be fair. Um, but he puts in a shift and he can come up with important goals. He scored a very important goal early on the season as Rovers beat Bowes at Daily Mount and he capitalised on a mistake. And, you know, that's a sign of a striker who has good instincts and it can capitalise on a mistake. They can be in quickly before the defender, etc. Et um, again, a player who has a, he still has a bit of pace, actually. He likes to run the channels as well. And link up play quite good as well. So, um for me, Aaron Green is worth his place as we speak at number three in the list. Now at number three, I, I, or number three, number two, I'd have Dinny Corcoran of Bohemians. Now Dinny, similarly to Aaron Green, he's 31 years of age and he's been around the league for a while, played for a number of clubs, um, always had potential, but I would say he's more natural goal scorer than Aaron Green. Um, last season, he had 16 appearances, seven goals. In a season where the top scorer had 14 goals, he had an injury earlier on the season. There's a good chance he would have at least hit that 13-14 goal mark, if not got more in the league. Um, and it was a big loss to Bowles, especially with a lot of their young players have some of his experience, know-how, and a player who's improved as he's gone on big time. He scored 11 goals in 32 appearances the season before and 15 goals in 25 league appearances the season before. Another player had a good spell at Sligo and he had a good spell early on in his career at Shelburne. But generally he he meandered a little bit throughout his career as well. But in the last number of years he's really found his place at Bohemians. Fairly strong player. Um, an instinctive goal scorer in the last few years. He's proven to be an instinctive goal scorer as well. And I think he's reveling in the new project that Keith Long has brought to Bowes. And really took up the leadership mantle at the club. And, you know, he's a player that probably helps the youngsters in the dressing room as well. And as I said, he revels in that seemingly. Um, comes up with big goals as well. He scored goals against Shamrock Rovers, winning goals, etc., etc., in games. And, um, you know, that injury last season, he came back from it, but unfortunately picked up another injury to start of the season and hasn't been able to take the field. Uh, I'd imagine he's probably fit now as we speak. But um, yeah, Dinny Corcoran is another player that has really aged very, very well. Number one on the list, you could have guessed this, to be fair. Could only be one man, um, Patrick Hoob and Dundalk. I think he stands head and shoulders above anybody else in this league when it comes to strikers. He's the one true top striker in the league. As I said, we've... Um, I don't think the quality up front is quite like it was. You'd usually have two or three, maybe even four Patrick Hubens as such. But Huben has been consistent. Even last season where he scored 13 goals, um, for him, that's a bad season. So that says it all. He still nearly got top score. So far this season, five appearances and five goals. So there's, there's a new hunger in the 28-year-old as well. Um, brilliant capture from the Lily Whites, to be fair. Uh, had a great first spell and sometimes when a player goes over to England and comes back they can struggle a bit but who when no 34 appearances the season before 30 goals just incredible stuff from Patrick Hoobin he's a player that you know has broken records in this league he's he's good in the air even though he's not very big he's got a great spring in, in a step uh, reminds me of uh I don't know if people remember Tim Cahill of Everton. He was he was smaller probably, but very good in the air as well. Uh, Huben, he looks like he's doing nothing in a game, but if you analyse his game very closely, he again, he doesn't have to score, even though he's a goal scorer. That's the good thing about Huben as well. He doesn't have to score, and he often brings Duffy, McElhenney, whoever it is, plays for Dundalk uh, wide into the game as well, with his hold-up play and link-up play. He can drop very deep at times, if needs be, and sometimes... What the dock do there, they get their wingers very high when he's doing that. And at other times, he can be a fox in the box. So all round, I think Huben is the best striker in the league. And he just has that uh, quality, um, star quality, um, that I don't think any other striker in the league has at this minute in time. Um, 
I would say Huben when you're talking about the great strikers in the league, Huben has to be up there um of all time to be honest. And um I couldn't pick anyone else for number one on the list. I don't think anyone else comes close. So that's about it, guys. Um that's the top five. The series done now. Um I obviously spread it out a bit because of the pandemic and that, but in the meantime, I've been thinking of a lot of other video ideas and I have plenty of ideas um written down, etc. Some of them are already researched as well. So I'll be spreading them out as well. Um if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Um, you know, it's predominantly for match day vlogs this channel, but with no match matches going ahead. Um there's plenty of other things I can think of and plenty of other ideas, etc. etc. So um yeah, what do you think of the list, guys? Uh, would you agree? Anyone not on the list that you would consider should be in the list. Anyone new to the league, I couldn't really consider at this minute in time because obviously you wouldn't have played enough games. So um, that's about it, lads. I'm out and take a handy good look. Bye-bye now.